After a few days of teasing us, the Pokemon Company finally revealed a brand new Pokemon that, once again, they have been teasing for the past few days. This Pokemon's name is Grafii, and in a couple of new trailers that Pokemon just uploaded, they formally revealed this Pokemon and gave us basically all the information we need to know about it. However, there's a lot more to it than just the surface level details they provide, and that is exactly what I'm going to be going over in this new video. So first of all, I have got to say that I absolutely love the look of this Pokemon, especially in its artwork. The designs of the Paldean Pokemon and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are really just hitting home run after home run, and I cannot wait to see the full roster of new Pokemon we're going to be getting in this game. As far as Grafii goes, though, the largest amount of specific info that we have so far comes from the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website, and on the website, it identifies it as a Poison Normal type, which I believe is a unique type combination that has never been used before. It also says it is the Toxic Monkey Pokemon, and it has the abilities Unburden and Poison Touch. It states in its description that Grafii is a moody Pokemon with a fastidious disposition. It doesn't form packs, preferring to roam alone. It is constantly caught up in territorial struggles with other Pokemon. It also goes on to say that Grafii is nocturnal. Once the sun sets, it licks its hands and fingers to cover them in poison, and uses them to draw patterns on the trees in its territory. Now, the nocturnal part about this Pokemon definitely comes from its inspiration, the Eye Eye. The real-life Ai is a type of primate that is native to Madagascar and, just like Grafii, is also nocturnal. It is also, most assuredly, where Grafii gets its unique-looking eyes, because, I mean, just look at the eyes on this thing. Meanwhile, its poison type most likely comes from another very interesting part of its origin. A lot of people have noted with the various teases that have been showcased leading up to this Pokemon's reveal that the markings that it leaves on trees are obviously inspired by the Oma Forest that is located in northern Spain. This unique forest looks just like the markings that Grafii make themselves, hence the inspiration, and they were created by painting and sculptor Agustin Ibarola. However, according to Wikipedia, very recently some of these painted trees have begun to become affected by a fungal disease that has been killing the painted trees and resulting in the paintings on these trees being ruined. This unfortunate circumstance is most likely why Grafii is poison type itself. The other thing that Grafii is obviously based on is the concept of graffiti and graffiti artists, hence its name. And if you look at its artwork and its design, this definitely seems to be showing through as well, as not only is its pose very hip-hop, gangster-like in nature, but it also seems like the tuft of fur on the top of its head might be inspired by graffiti artists as well, and their kind of messy hairstyles that they have as both artists and as the hoodlum, hip-hoppy type of people that that kind of culture entails. Another really interesting thing about this Pokemon that we saw in the documentary style trailer that was first shown off is the fact that Scatterbug was in this particular trailer, not only confirming that this line of Pokemon is going to be in the game, but it might also confirm the area of Paldea that we can expect to find Grafii in, because it just so happens that the Oma Forest that has those markings that Grafii is inspired by is like I said earlier, in the north of Spain, and the area it is located in, the Basque country, actually borders France, which is obviously the inspiration for the Kalos region where Scatterbug comes from, and that might all be in reference to Grafii's location within Paldea, which is a very, very nice attention to detail if so. 
Further backing up this idea is the fact that we actually got a little bit of gameplay of Grafaii as well, and the location in the region that it seems to be in based on this trailer matches up with this particular location in the northern part of Paldea perfectly. And more specifically, it is in the exact location where the Basque country is in real life France, meaning that all of this is most likely intentional, which is pretty cool. Finally, as Grafaii is a pretty small Pokemon, it definitely could have the potential to evolve. However, personally, I could see this going both ways. It definitely has room to grow further, but it also looks distinctive enough to remain a single stage Pokemon, especially because they are promoting it specifically pretty heavily with both of these trailers they have given it and the whole teasing that they were doing earlier in the week and personally, if I had to guess, I would probably say that it's probably going to stay this way and not evolve, but we will ultimately just have to wait and see. What do you guys think about this Pokemon, though? Do you like it as much as I do? Are you excited to catch one? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to let me know any other things you noticed about it as well. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and if you want to potentially win a free copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, check out my Pokemon remixes on Spotify, because if we get enough new listeners there by the time the games release, I'll be giving away a copy and potentially multiple. With that being said, I will be back very soon with another video, and until then, as always, thanks so much for watching this one, I really, really appreciate it, and I will smell you guys later.